Hello everyone, uh, this is Luke. Um, now I'm from New Zealand and um, I'm a doctor myself and I thought I would start uploading some videos about what I think about in my worldview and my philosophy and my way of life and to share that with you in this setting and um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about a few things, including economy, uh, politics, and something related to health, pandemic. Um, yeah, so as you can see in my um, channel, it's been mostly about Christianity, which I want to talk more about. But at the same time, I wanted to talk about what's going on at the, in the world right now, so that I can be of some help to some people who listen to it. Um, so first of all, um, I'd like to talk about the economy or the, how the current stocks, shares, investment is going. How about you? Um, I actually invest in um, you know Nasdaq and um, New York Exchange, you know, stock exchange, and some companies, you know, big tech companies, including. Alphabet, um, Tesla, Microsoft, and Apple, among others. Uh, but as you can see, that there has been a really, really bad um, drop um, in the, um, the whole um, figure recently, which to many surprise, um, not going well. So many people are afraid of what's going on or what's gonna happen and um, yeah so I started investing since two years ago and um, it's been pretty good and uh, even until December last year the profit has been almost 20% uh, from my original investment um, value but now it's about three to four percent and it could go down further uh, but I think it is a really good way of investing because of the inflation and uh, and the you know bank really they don't give you good interest um, at the moment it's about uh, term investment in the bank in New Zealand at the moment is about 1.3 percent so that's like not much so um, yeah so shares have been a very good way of investing um, so it's it's I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but still I'm I'm you know long term you know if you can um, persevere and um, eventually I feel it's gonna go up again, but it's, we don't know when. Um, so um, I would actually encourage people to do some maybe studying and invest so that. Um, now, and as a Christian, I don't want the money for myself. I mean, I believe the money is given to us to love, basically. Basically, to make the society a better place to live together in harmony and peace. Um, and we can do good things through money. Therefore, I feel if you can yeah, make money, then go ahead and do so. But just don't make money your idol. Just don't make it your God. So, um, yeah, so it will be interesting to see how it goes this month uh, and next month, February. And the next one I want to talk about is um, the political situation in Korea. Um, the uh, president election is coming up in a month and a half. Uh, and it's gonna be pretty close which uh, side is gonna win the right or the left um, you know the conservative or liberal basically similar in the US system as well you know the Democratic Party or the Republican um, and um, I feel that I'm more towards conservative side generally but when I did some you know, political tests online, I found that I was actually sort of in the middle. I think it's because 
of the fact that I, I, I would love to do better in terms of welfare. You know, for those who are poor and not doing well, um, many, you know, some because of their education, hard, you know, harsh upbringing, no opportunity, and, you know, I feel that they need at least some type of, you know, protection so that they can at least live, uh, have some food and some, you know, shelter and clothing so that they can live. Um, so that's why I feel that, you know, I might be a bit agree, agree to, you know, agree with some of the ways the welfare system works in New Zealand, for example, and also many other Scandinavian countries. I don't agree wholeheartedly, but to some degree. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting who's going to be the next president in Korea. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to talk about was pandemic situation around the world. Um, now, the expert in Korea mentioned that the pandemic could end very, very soon in the next few months because Om Omicron has changed everything. Um, now, it is, it is well known that Omicron um, there is more, more less likely to be your symptoms are less likely to be severe, more less likely to be hospitalized, and that includes both um, vaccinated and unvaccinated. Um, and it seems a South African case, you know, they're already coming down with the cases, and it's likely they're gonna the Omicron is disappearing. And it's interesting if you had Delta. You can still be infected with Omicron, but the studies show you're less likely to be infected with Delta if you already were infected with Omicron. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, I mean, the vaccine pass in many countries, I mean, this type of um, policy actually intrudes human right, you know, independence and freedom liberty basically so it's a really really sensitive issue and um, I mean there are some ways that we need to work together to to do this but if it intrudes and really disrupts our you know rights and you know to work and to go to certain places I mean it's gonna be you know I think a borderline is on the, um, you know our human liberty and freedom so, yeah, I feel that, you know, yeah, you know, we need to be thinking carefully and make sure we don't go towards that path of total control, which is basically communism. And we don't want that. I mean, we've seen the example of North Korea where communism, it's a form of hyper-communism, actually. And um, so I don't agree with that. Um, yeah, so I think I will talk um, about those things and I will come back next time with uh, other things to talk about.